it is your girl champagne coming to you again with another video and i'm your esthetician where i help other estheticians win and others with their skincare and beauty needs okay so in today's video i'm going to be talking about how to look presentable in front of your laptop as a solo virtual esthetician so we're going to be talking about that i think it's really important and key you want to make sure that you're looking presentable and comfortable when you're delivering information to your past future and present clients are you like an esthetician or a solo esthetician that's going virtual or has been virtually online you're showing up online doing consultations you're doing classes you're doing virtual meetings and you're looking your very best are you I'm guilty because I haven't always made myself look put together. I haven't. I haven't always done that. We're working on it. We're working on it. I've been doing it lately and I plan to commit to it. Ask yourself that. Have you been looking your very best in front of the camera or laptop? Whether you're coaching other estheticians or you helping out with your own clients, it is important. Definitely if you're going to be offering skincare advice, skincare services, it's important that you want to look your best when giving advice to your clients. How you present yourself from behind the screen matters just as well as if you were in person. Always go about it as, okay, if I was in person, I would want to look my best self. So do the same when you're in front of that laptop. First impression, yes. I said it first impression matters I'm telling you definitely if somebody's seeing you for the first time you guys if they look at you take a glance whether that be in person or online and in this case we're talking about online some people form their judgment or opinion on you now yes we shouldn't judge a book by its cover but most people do until they actually read the book until they actually listen to what it is we have to say so first impression is everything it can make or break a situation it's just something that people will remember you by now it's okay like you haven't worn makeup and you started wearing makeup now but you still remain your authentic self you haven't changed up with the wind you know you still you you haven't been faking who you are genuinely you just changed up how you look or how how you wear certain things right so first impression is always going to be key you always want to make sure you're looking put together because your potential clients are always going to judge you in the moment you show up in front of that camera people are already speculating or putting their opinions and thoughts on you just by how you look are you professional are you not professional are you rough with your words i mean people will say all sorts of things but again i'm going back i'm circling back just be you but be professional with it have fun with it be confident and just get in front of that camera and do what it is you need to do here are some key points to remember too you are the face of your brand even virtually you are the face of your brand so you have got to look a certain way you have got to be put together a certain way like i said even if you were in person somewhere and believe it or not looking put together really builds trust and credibility you guys it just does when you do people can trust you they're like okay i mean we're not going to trust somebody who just wake up in their pajamas and start talking and telling us what to do when they're not even dressing up no you're gonna be like you're just talking that's you're you're not even implementing what you're talking about you're not even practicing what you're preaching do know that appearing polished will and should build immediate trust and credibility from your audience reflecting your expertise as a solo virtual esthetician your appearance should reflect your level of knowledge and expertise in a sense you guys like okay if i was in my pajamas and i'm and i'm sitting here talking to you guys about skincare and all this you guys may not take me that serious because it's like you're in your pajamas dude you didn't even do your face you didn't even probably brush your teeth or wash your face i mean what's going on you know nine times out of ten you being a virtual esthetician you don't want to be in clothing that doesn't make sense right you don't want to be in some pajamas or just a hoodie with your head cover and your esthetician because you are aesthetically pleasing to those who are watching you right and then some your appearance should reflect your level of knowledge and expertise for example if you're teaching potential clients about skincare and your skin looks dry and patchy and you're telling them how to get glowy skin it's not matching that skill that i'm trying to teach it's not matching what i look like it's not giving credibility it's not giving i can trust you because you're not reflecting your expertise 
So that is a huge one, you guys. If you're talking about makeup, if you never wore makeup, that's gonna be kind of hard for you to share that type of information because you haven't never wore makeup. Some key points to look out for when reflecting your expertise. Clients expect for you to embody the principles or techniques that you share. They're gonna expect it from you. So if you're sharing it, you better have done it. You had better tried it. You have better experience with it before you get on here and sharing it with them. That's only right. That's your trust. That's your credibility. That's your authenticity. To see. So clients are going to expect that from you. Do know demonstrating self-care and professionalism will reinforce your credibility. So your clients, are they're definitely going to see that. If you're demonstrating self-care, if you're being professional, it's going to just naturally reinforce that you are credible. You are a credible person to rely on with this information. You are a credible person to tell me what it is I need to do with my skin. Because A, education, experience, what you have done yourself, okay, experience, Okay, just all correlates and ties in with each other. Next, we're gonna be talking about boosting your confidence. Yes, who wouldn't want their confidence boosted? I know I do, okay? But looking good makes you feel good. So when you look good, you naturally feel good. I've always said this. When you look the part, you'll naturally feel confident. So if you're looking the part, you're gonna feel confident in your role to do the part. I'm not gonna say play because we don't play games, we do. And that confidence, to have that confidence, it translates into how you communicate with your potential clients. This is key because when you know what you're talking about and you're doing things to boost your confidence, communication is going to be naturally easy for you to do because you know what you're doing because you took the steps to boost your confidence to do that so your tone your body language your energy everything is positive when you're boosting your confidence and you're boosting your appearance everything naturally goes with each other so here's some key points to keep in mind okay do know dressing the part really helps boost your self-esteem in how you present your services so when you dress the part it naturally boosts how you feel about yourself okay and how you present your services to your potential clients this is why it's so good to boost your confidence when you look good you feel good do what you need to do to make yourself feel good and look good confidence is contagious so if I'm boosting my confidence and you guys see me boosted you guys are gonna naturally want to get boosted you guys are gonna naturally want to get on board it's important to share the information you know what what you need to share Creating a professional online space. Looking presentable isn't about just what you are wearing. It's also about the space behind you. Okay, the background, the background behind me. I've come a long way, you guys. I didn't use walls. You just need like a little clean spot. You wanna make sure your environment is clean, organized, not messy. You don't have too much gunk back behind you. That's a distraction. You don't want that. A cluttered background can really be distracting and take away from the message you're trying to deliver to your potential clients. So you wanna make sure that behind you looks okay there's nothing that's disturbing or that's going to distract your clients from hearing the message you have I'm to sorry. share and some key points to take from this is keep your background simple and professional if it's just a plain wall keep it a plain wall because why because they just see you so simple and professional lighting matters i have a glim core light in front of me it's giving me some light if i didn't have it you guys wouldn't be able to see me I have some lighting that makes you lit up so your potential clients can be able to see you and to see what you're talking about even you, you can use natural light here's the window i even have the natural light i have my my blinds kind of open so i have natural light in the glim core light it will make a big difference in how you're perceived from your potential clients so try to use natural light or a ring light Here are some practical tips for you to look your very best. You want to choose an outfit that makes you feel empowered and professional. What I'm wearing today, and this is just, I love this little cutout shirt. It's kind of go like this. You guys probably can't really see, but I got this shirt on with some jeans, just some jeans. I feel good. I feel confident. I feel professional. I feel like a woman. I feel like a lady. That is a tip that you do want to keep in mind. Choose an outfit that makes you feel empowered and professional. Stick to natural glow glowy makeup that complements your brand okay so for me if i'm not wearing a red lip i'm wearing a nude lip but i keep it very simple you guys i use a tinted moisturizer and smashbox illuminator and i just rub it on my face that's what i've been doing lately i'm a dry normal skin type so i like to have like a, a glowy dewy type look on my face when in doubt stick it out to natural and have a soft glow when filming in front of your laptop you want to make sure 
sure you have lighting, whether that be natural lighting from the window or a ring light like I have in front of me. You wanna make sure you have lighting to avoid the harsh shadows that comes with this. So on this side, I have no light. It's a little darker on this side of the cheek because I have no light on this side. I have a little light back there behind me as well, but use lighting to take away the harshness, the shadows. Always check your camera angle before you start to record. This is important because you could be talking literally in front of your camera and you had no idea that the camera wasn't even facing your face. And you're gonna be mad because you did this very nice video or you were talking to your clients online live and they couldn't even see you. I'm sure somebody's probably gonna message you like, hey, we can't see you, but just make sure your angles are correct and ready to go before you actually go live or before you actually record a video. You want it at an eye level. This is best for connection. So like for me, it's at an eye level. I can like literally see my, I'm looking into the camera now, hi. Hi. So yeah, you want it at eye level, okay? That's the best for connections, okay? And here's some key points to take away. Preparation is key when you are preparing to present yourself in front of your laptop, about to get on camera, okay? Any camera, live, a camera, video, you wanna make sure you're ready to go. Small details make a huge difference, remember that. Always keep in mind, a clean, simple look always go a long way. So you don't need glitters, cut crease makeup, pink lipstick, purple lipstick, you know, color hair. You don't need all that. If you like it, do you boo because can't nobody tell you that what you like to do but you don't need all of it if you a person that's on the go and you just want to deliver your message get it out there share the information you don't need all that less is best i've always said that less is best just make sure you look cleaned up put together and you're ready to go okay keep it simple keep it clean and do your thing and remember as a solo virtual esthetician you're not just selling products and services you guys you're selling you because you are the face of your brand. People are going to remember you. They're going to remember your tips, what you said to do. Most importantly, they're gonna remember you. They're gonna remember what you had on, what you use. How you present yourself online is just as important as your expertise. It goes hand in hand. Presentation, expertise, it goes hand in hand because if you teach it, you gotta do it. So the next time you have to hop on a video call or you're going live, make sure you're looking pre presentable. Make sure you're looking up to par where people are like oh man yeah i want that look that's on your face oh man you look like you're glow i had somebody today tell me that i was glowing this is what's going on for me and i'm happy about it if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tips on running your solo virtual esthetician business and let me know in the comments how you prep your online sessions or how you prep yourself before you go online live to share a skill to share advice tips whatever for your potential clients out there let me know in the comments are you doing it have you done it let me know because this is something that i'm really about to pick up and start getting my virtual clients from online across all states and countries this is the way to do it. But until next time, I'll catch you guys back with another one. Peace.